and what's good youtube this your boy coach dante in the building with you guys man please comment like and subscribe um on the channel man appreciate you guys for supporting the channel i really appreciate you guys for always tuning in to the live streams uh really appreciate you guys man so much man thank you guys so much for always tuning in so uh, let's get right into the news, man. Let's get really right into the news uh, of training camp of uh, day four. This is day four of training camp, man. Here to give you some news updates, man, on it. We got a lot of news, but basically, again, shout out to my Houston Texans brethren again. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, really appreciate you again. Uh, Matthew, Matthew Biggins, and my boy, uh, Fifth Ward, Crenshaw Bay. I will be on that channel later tonight at 8.30 at 8.30 Central Time to talk Houston Texans football training camp. And I'm here to give you some guys training camp updates on day four of training camp, second day of the full pads. Uh, let's get right into it. Nico Collins, best day, uh, uh, passing, uh, passing. Uh, day uh day two day three uh day I mean two three levels uh today uh Lovey Smith came out and said Nico Collins has uh has his moments today uh he's was more consistent um Lovey Smith uh said Nico Collins complimentary uh comp comp uh complimentary basically compromised basically uh Brandon cooks perfectly and says he's a big guy. Uh, that can uh run, that can run a uh, block uh and uh leap uh for uh so so uh post uh practice Nico Collins after worked on worked on this position pretty much uh there are still areas that he can improve on uh for Nico Collins tips multiple times uh tipsy is multiple times uh over uh, over trip over his own foot um. Uh, Coming out of breaks, coming out of cuts. He has trouble coming out of breaks, coming out of cuts. Uh, Texans, Nico, uh, Texans and Nico seems to realize it uh, are still working towards uh, the final goal. Uh, forgot to uh, mention Nico. Uh, I recall seeing him run cut, uh, run uh, short routes today. Uh, very smart. Uh, he's massive. That defensive, that defensive have keyed on uh, him at practice improvement, improvement as well. So one on ones today, uh, that was brought it up. Uh, Chris Moore didn't catch, didn't uh, uh, one of the few passes. Chris Moore didn't catch double, uh, double caught, double caught ball between Traymond Smith uh, was. Blank was blanketed, was blanketed. Uh, Trayvon continues to fight uh, to tip ball, uh, rip balls out of the air. Competed uh, Chris Moore, um, had the ball coming again later. Could not tell uh, if whistle blown or across the end zone. So Chris Moore did drop a pass in the end zone. Then drop a pass by the end zone. I believe he fumbled the ball by the end zone area. Uh, in the end zone area for Chris Moore, uh, Jeff Driscoll, who has uh, two who had the two uh, two first uh, days in pass for Jeff Jeff Driscoll, Jeff Driscoll, uh, Jeff Jeff Driscoll for today. You have uh, today drop back passes in the bucket uh, to Seth uh, Green. That's just that he's talking about Jeff Driscoll right here. So he's been he's uh, was okay today. Uh, that's begin said he's uh a uh third stream third stream behind uh Kyle Allen basically Kyle Allen is the backup quarterback behind Davis Mills uh Steven Nelson is fun to watch uh anytime in a deep in a rep he's up on the line press uh coverage is basically he's playing uh Steven Nelson's playing press coverage every single time he's fun to watch uh DBs to uh beat him, uh DBs to beat him, daring to beat him. Uh so he's basically playing press coverage every time and he's out there killing it in press coverage. So Steven Nelson is doing a great job. Um uh, uh he uh pressured uh Whittington 
Winnington, uh, Derek, all uh, all over him, all over him. A uh, short under routine route for uh, Winnington, but the uh, plug pulled away his body. I mean, like I said, again, Steven Nelson is out there doing a very good job out there, man. Steven Nelson is doing a very good job out there. Uh, then you got uh, Nico Collins later on splits between DBs and stuff like that. So Nico Collins is out there. He's been he's showing some inconsistencies out there. Jerry Hughes uh, has some gas left in the tank. They saying Jerry Hughes has some gas left in the tank out there. Has some gas left in the tank out there. Uh, Jerry Hughes explosiveness and blend. Uh, and next to uh, next play draws a, a false start penalty on. Basically, Laramie Tunsil. So, Chris uh, Jerry Hughes draw the uh, false star penalty on uh, Laramie Tunsil. Chris Moore, Chris Moore, uh, like I say, has been very good in training camp. Jalen Petrie, uh, Groove, uh, drove down on Kyle Allen's passes intended for Brevin Jordan. Uh, Brevin Jordan, those, these are the news and updates that I'm getting for training camp uh, so far right now. Uh, so, again, these are the quotes that has been right in jail and Petrie has been solid, has been solid. Winnington has really been good. Chris Moore has been good in camp. Uh, so uh, Christian Harris has become noticeable, uh, notable uh, over the last couple of days and pads. Christian Harris, since we put on the pads and helmets, has been nothing but uh, sensational for Christian Harris. Uh, Damian Pierce popped a couple of nice runs today. Um Daily reminder, he's going to have a good year for uh, Chris, for uh, Damian Pierce. And Damian Pierce right now in the past has been very, very good, been very, very dynamic. I can't wait uh, to see Damian Pierce on the field this year. Damian Pierce has been very good in training camp. So basically they're telling you the reports on these players. Nico Collins have the tendencies basically to come out of his break slow, trip up on his brace, not get separation a little bit, but he also has a good big body frame that can catch a lot of jump balls and he has some work to do. Um, they basically tell you Steven Nelson has been very, very good in press coverage as well. So shout out to everybody, man. Cannot wait uh, late to see you guys uh, tonight. Uh, Crenshaw, shout out to Crenshaw. Shout out to uh, Matthew Biggins, man. I will be on that 830 Central to talk Texas football with those guys, man. Right after practice, comment, like, and subscribe if y'all like this video. Give me all thoughts in the comment section on, on these players that I just named. I was uh, really showing some improvement and give me some of the players in the comment section that and that's showing you guys some love that's catching your guys' eyes as well. So comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, we up out of here. Shout out to everybody. Go Houston Texans.